Hello there and welcome to another Partners in Crime tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to make some professional flat and shiny text in Blender. So this is what you should get when you're finished with the tutorial and now let's jump into making it. So the first thing you want to do is set up your scene. So you want to type numpad 7 on your keyboard to go into top view and then type control alt and then numpad 0 to bring your camera into top view. Now you want to delete the default cube by typing X and clicking delete and now you want to type in on your keyboard. Just scroll through this menu here until you see the display section and select the display section and select X, Y and uncheck grip 4 and relationship lines and now we've pretty much cleared up our scene. So we can also delete this lamp over here by right clicking on it and typing X and clicking delete. So type shift A on your keyboard and uh, let's add some text. So with our text added to the screen, we now want to edit it so that it says what we want it to say. So type tab on your keyboard, erase the text, and type your own text. I'm just going to type shiny text and type tab to exit text edit mode. So now that we've edited text, exited text edit mode, you want to go into the right of the screen here. Select the font object data tab, scroll down and under paragraph and align, click center. So this will center our text on the screen. If we scroll up a little bit more, let's left click on the screen or on hold and just pull our text down a little bit just to get it lower on the screen and release left click. And now we're going to open a font that we have stored on our computer that will include a download loop for in the description. And the font we will use for this one is called the bold font. So let's look for that. And select it. And then select open font. Now let's type S and then Y on the keyboard and move our cursor in a little bit and left click. Let's just shrink it a little bit from top to bottom. And uh, let's type S and move our cursor out and left click on this and just pull it down a little bit more. Alright, so sit down there. So uh, now that we have our text centered on the screen and uh, we have our font loaded up, let's add some colors to our text. So uh, let's uncheck outside, outline selected there and go into the material section and add a new material. And now we'll type shift B on our keyboard in the center of the screen here and just bring up this box selection dialog. So that selected a portion of our screen for our rendered. So let's click this here and select rendered and it should only render the box that we have selected. Now we're going to split our screen here and go into the node editor and uh, we're going to check shadeless here so that our text doesn't receive or emit light and we're going to click this here to enable use nodes. Now we want to load up our material in the, in the node here. So select this material icon and select material 001. And uh, now we have our material loaded up. So we're going to just give our text a nice orangish yellowish gradient. So let's click add converter color ramp and put that there. and make sure you have the black color stop selected by left clicking on it and you just want to bring it up on the brightness and just click around to get that orange. Let me zoom in here by using the scroll wheel. Let's split the screen a little bit more. Let's scroll up to zoom in. So we've got the orange here. Let's left click on this and make it yellow. A little bit more orangish yellow and that should be good. So now we're going to hook this up in here to the color input and you should get a kind of yellow orange gradient. Now we want it to kind of go from top to bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in geometry node and hook this output into the color ramp. And what we're going to do is uh, normally in the cycles render engine, select here if it's a cycles render engine, we would use the generated coordinates of our object or the object coordinates and separate the y value from it to make it go vertically to make our gradient go vertically. But in the internal render engine we'll use 
this selection right here and we will click add converter separate RGB and hook this here and we will hook the green which should be the Y into the factor and now you can see we get our gradient going from top to bottom and it looks fairly good now so let's add in our shine effects so if you type shift B on your keyboard and just bring a box over here we are going to split the screen a little bit back in there and uh, we're going to go into the text object data tab change the offset down a little bit to make our text just a little thinner and uh, go back into the material section we're going to type shift D on our keyboard and right click to cancel that so we've duplicated our text object. So let's click X to delete this material and add a new material, which will be a shapeless white material. Let's put the brightness of this white up. And let's type GZ.001 and enter. And that just makes sure that our white text is in front of our orange text. So let's adjust the offset. So we get a nice orange outline there. And let's uh, shift D to duplicate this. Right click. And go back into the material section and change it back to the first material we had. And now I'll type GZ.001 and type enter. So what we're going to do now is we're going to type G and we're just going to move our text down a little bit. And you can see we're giving it some of the white highlights from behind the text. <coughs> So, just move your cursor and left click and scroll up to zoom in. And that's a pretty good highlight. You can adjust the offset down a little bit more if you want to get more highlights. Let's see. Alright, and scroll down to zoom out. And that looks really nice. So, uh, let's pull the screen back in here. Now let's give our text some of that shine. So we're going to use another color ramp node. So let's click add converter color ramp and uh, change it to constant so we get a harder gradient. And pull the color stops in. And make sure you have the black color stop selected. Click this plus to add another one and just pull it to this side and now we'll click add color mix hook it up here and change it to add and make sure it adds in the color ramp alright so we change it to add and add it in our color ramp here what we want to do now is I'll put the I'll put this into the color ramp factor and you can see we can pull the gradient up a little bit and it gives our text a little bit of shine but we want it to look a little bit um, more like a shine and less like a white overlay so we're going to change the add value to 0.2 we can change a little bit higher 0.3 and we get some of that nice shine and you can just keep adjusting the color stops until you get the kind of shine you like and uh, we can make the background black and type control B and uh, now we have our shiny text scene set up so you can uh, click render render image on your keyboard to see how that looks once it's rendered by blender and you can see you have a nice shiny text scene set up in blender so we have a preset of these texts available in the card in the top right of the screen here called Text Factory and it's available on our website and the Blender Market. So we're pretty much finished making this cool text. You can change the colors of your text by adjusting the color values of the stops here and you can change where the sign is located by adjusting the position of the color stops here. So, we hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you did, you can leave a like and a comment below. And if you want to see more Blender content from Partners in Crime, you can subscribe. So, thanks for watching, and subscribe for more tutorials from Partners in Coordinated Rendering of Ideas, Motion, and Effects.